Aloha to all my students at Pritzker. Hope you're staying healthy and happy and safe. Um, thanks for joining me here on this uh, virtual uh, music house lesson. Um, we're going to talk a little about tuning today. Um, the good news is that all of you are already really good at telling when a string sounds like it's in tune or maybe it's a little too low or flat, too high, which we call sharp. Okay, so I think we're going to go from G, C, E, A, just like usual, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposefully detune my uke a little bit. And we're going to try and get it back into shape. Now there's a couple of different apps that I use when I don't have an electronic tuner at my disposal. One of them is called simply ukulele tuner. You can see it there, that sort of brown colored one towards the bottom of my phone. And then the other one right next to it looks like a guitar pick. It's called Guitar Tuna. Don't let the name fool you. It also has a ukulele tuner built in as well. It's very helpful. So let's start with the ukulele tuner. So we're looking at basically just an image of a ukulele and at the bottom of the screen you're going to see G, C, E, and A. That's what we want to do. So we're going to start with the G. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this tuning peg away from me going clockwise. We're tightening the string to make it higher. You think higher, tighter, looser, lower, right? And you don't really need to worry too much about breaking a string unless you get it too tight. Sometimes a string can snap and it's not the end of the world, but it's something that can happen. The main thing with tuning your strings is to just stay very patient. It might just take you a minute or two, but once you're able to tune your ukulele on your own, it is such a liberating feeling. Okay, so here's our G. And that's about where I want it to be sounding pretty good. Now let's do the C. So again, a little flat, so I'm turning it away from me to tighten that string. Next up, the E. Now I've actually made that one a little sharp. Two strings here, my E and my A, there I'm going to actually turn it away from me to loosen it. It takes a little getting used to, but after you've done it a bunch, it starts to just feel natural. And again, with my A, I'm turning it towards me now to tighten it. So with your, a lot of times the way these ukuleles are made, your G and your C string, in order to tighten them, you're turning that string away from you, and with the other two strings, your E and your A, you turn it towards you to tighten it, and away from you to loosen it. It's a little confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. So now we're in tune. I'm going to show you this other app that I like to use. It's called Guitar Tuna, like tuna fish. It's this one down here with the green guitar pick image. And like I said, it can work for a guitar, but it also has a setting, and this is totally free for a standard ukulele tuning. So here you can see that it's the G string, the C string, the E string, and the A. Now, the one I, thing I don't like about this app is that the notes don't ring out for as long as they do on the other one. What I do like about it a lot is that if you play your string, it'll tell you whether you're in tune or not. See, it's telling me it's just a little too low. And then when I get it, it clicks for me. It's a very satisfying feeling knowing, hey, you're right on target. So let's try our C string next, and let's see what it tells us. It's saying it's a little too low. Now it clicked on, so we're right where we want to be. Next up, our E string. Still a little too high. And it clicked for us, so we know we're good. Last but not least, our A string.
Great. So now we're all set. Another little trick that I like to use, if you play uh, your second finger on the second fret of your G string, that's actually an A. So you can then test and see if both of those sound just about the same, then you're in a good spot. So again, second fret G string makes an A. That coupled with your open A string, they should sound the same. Another thing here is play your open C and a high C with your third finger on the third fret of your A string. You should get a nice octave there. Low C, high C. And then last but not least, one that I love to do is you take your, if you're ch testing out your E string, you can play that on the fifth fret, all the way up at the fifth fret of your E string, and that should also be an A. So we just count them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I hope that helps you out. I've got lots of different tricks for tuning that we can go over in future little tutorials. Um, we're also going to be working a lot on our four big songs, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, Time Adventure, Imagine, and of course, You Are My Sunshine. So stay tuned, and thanks for bearing with us while we, uh, while we navigate these uh, uncertain times. And stay healthy. Mahalo.